From the studios of Mud Advertising in Cedar Falls, Iowa, this is Mud TV. Today, we'll talk to experts in information technology about the advancements that new technologies bring to forward thinking marketing companies. I'm Gary Kroger, your host here at Mud TV, and today we indeed have a special show. We are talking about the new technologies. Technology is something that we all think we know something about, it's something that we all use. And it's something that a lot of us don't understand quite as well as the three gentlemen that are with me today. To my immediate right is Jim Sartorius, the Chief Financial Officer here at Mud Advertising. To his right, Rob Houlihan from Cedar Falls Utilities. He's the Network Services Manager. And to his right is our very own Vance Kohling, who is the Network Engineer at Mud Advertising. But I like to point out, Every company has a couple of people that you go to when anything goes wrong. Vance is that guy here. I don't care if it's the coffee machine or your computer, he's the guy that you go to to get it fixed. Uh, gentlemen, thanks for being here. Uh, it's just a free-form conversation. There's a few topics I want to address. Um, and I'm going to start right here with you, Rob, because here we are in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Now, I'm not... Um, I'm not talking out of school to say that a lot of people around the country go, Cedar Falls, Iowa, you're in the middle of a cornfield, they scratch their head. How could you possi possibly be cutting edge in technology? Explain a little bit uh, of, of where we are and why we're there. Yeah, it'd be hard to uh, imagine that uh, Cedar Falls, Iowa is uh, the, uh, one of the most well-connected cities in, 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 the, in the nation, uh, but that is the truth. Well, the and world, for that matter, then, right? Yeah. and, and um, Back in the early 90s, uh, we had uh, the, the city founders, the, the city uh, officials, and the Cedar Falls Utilities um, decided to f form a communi communications utility. And uh, at that time, we built fiber to the technology park. And, uh, which is where we are. Which is where so we people are. People understand. And we uh, connected uh, this campus to fiber directly uh, back in the, in, in the mid to late 90s. And when you talk about fiber, we're talking about the best, the widest bandwidth really available, right? There are very few places on the planet that have better bandwidth, greater bandwidth than we do. Yeah, when, when you use fiber as your delivery mechanism of, of service, you can uh, dictate what speed you want. Um, it's just the fiber is there, whatever optics you use to light up the fiber dictates how much data you can transmit over the fiber. Now I'm going to stick with you just for one more second here, because you said a committee was formed to do this. Why was a committee formed to do this? Where did the forward thinking come from? Because this is unusual. It is unusual, and, and what we established was a, a municipal utility. Uh, so we are owned by the, the city of, of Cedar Falls. Um, we also do uh, electric, gas, and water. So we're a, a full service utility company. And one thing that uh, customers like about dealing with C CFU is it's one phone call. It's one bill, um, and it's, it's, uh, it's a community service that um, is, is a huge asset to, to, to Cedar Falls. My dear sainted 85-year-old mother would have given you that commercial. She <laughs> loves the fact that yeah. one thing takes care of everything. <laughs> yep, and that's gas, water, electric, yep. <laughs> cable TV, internet, uh, and even uh, sewer and uh, garbage are, are on the same yes. bill. Uh, so. uh, Cedar Falls, the quality of life in this Cedar Valley that we have here is extraordinary. So, Jim, how did Mud Advertising get so lucky to, to really be at the crest of this technology with Cedar Falls Utilities? Right from the beginning, uh, Jim Mudd Sr. And, and Jim Mudd Jr. decided to come out here and put our buildings into the technology park. So, as Rob said, back in the uh, ni late 90s, we had fiber directly to our first building. And so that then spread to the rest of our buildings on the campus. So we've taken advantage of the fiber here for many years, and it's given us great, great uh, capabilities. Well, uh, speaking of those capabilities, very recently, in this very set here, Mud TV, we did a live show to Bangkok, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Well, that's uh, a few another time <laughs> zone away. And Rob Mudd, one of the presidents of the company, was doing a seminar for a lot of people, and they were asking questions live. Well, there was zero lag time and an absolutely perfect picture. Mm -hmm. That's one of the great aspects of this technology and this bandwidth that we have here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, tell me more, Vance, about the, the bells and whistles and the toys that we have here that you use every day. Well, it's nice about the building, again, when they, when they first started building the buildings back in the late 90s. Um, we've got the 20-acre ca campus. It's all connected via fiber. Um, 
So we have you know great connectivity between the buildings, and also then within like this studio, we have great connectivity to CFU. And then maybe Rob can explain his connectivity to you know Chicago and, and Kansas City also. But uh, <clears throat> again, we have redundant paths to. Um, to CFU, so we ne we don't have to ever worry about going losing internet connectivity. So, and also the the nice thing is we have the the burstability with the fiber that uh, if we were like streaming this this broadcast, if we were going to a million people, we could. If we needed to go to a, a carrier distribution network or whatnot, and also just again on the other side of this wall, just a stone's throw away, we have a tier one um, data center where we can also you know store data and house data and stuff like that. So no, we're we're like within the campus, I think we have eight miles of fiber. Well let me ask a question. Can anybody do that? Or are we for some reason a perfect storm of of technology? Why are all these things happening here or can they just flick a switch in the calb right now and have everything that we have? No, I think we are a perfect storm. I think we've had the uh, the the foresight to build infrastructure before it was needed. Um, we're in the middle of just finishing up a three-year project where we're building fiber uh, to every single premise and business in the city of Cedar Falls. And um, that gives us huge capacity uh, to uh, throughout the whole community. When we started the project, there was some concern that we're building a super highway within the city, but uh, it ends at a two-lane road. Mm -hmm. Well, in the last three years, we've, we've corrected that uh, potential problem in that uh, we've acquired uh, fiber connectivity uh, to Chicago, which is uh, arguably one of the best well-connected uh, cities in, in the world. And we've also partnered uh, with the, the data center, uh, our first uh, high speed, it was a 10 gig link uh, to Des Moines. Um, neither of us could afford the link uh, on our own. Together we partnered, so it was a public-private partnership and uh, we each got uh, half of the link. So that was a way we were able to uh, start that uh, co connectivity to the, the, to the superhighway. And then most recently, we've just uh, got a link to Kansas City as well. So we have the, the capacity uh, and the redundancy um, that we can lose any one of these three main uh, connections to the internet and still deliver full service to the whole community. Uh, to, to, this show is going out live around the world. To anyone out there, I do, we talk often about the quality of life that we have here in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Um, those of you who are concerned about the, the seasons that we have, because we do have a brutal winter, this is what we do during the winter months. We huddle together and we talk about how we do things when it's not so cold outside. <laughs> That's where we're forward thinking and progressive, isn't that right? <laughs> Um, if you have any questions, you can ask them live at askmud at mud.com. I'll hear it in my ear here, and I'll ask these gentlemen right here and now. If you think of something after the show, as we so often do, still, go to askmud at mud.com, and we'll direct your question to the right person, and they'll get right back to you. I'm going to ask you guys in just a moment to look into a crystal ball and tell us where you think this is going. But, Jim, you, you've been around here with Mud Advertising for a lot of years, really pretty much from the start, haven't you? Um, you know what Jim Mudd Sr. was talking about a long time ago before anyone was talking about connectivity and having your own network and so on. Uh, illustrate a little bit. Years ago, uh, Jim Mudd Sr., before the Internet had video, before YouTube ever existed or was even a thought, Jim Mudd Sr. made the statement that one day everyone's going to own their own television station. And everybody sort of went, okay. At that point, Jim Mudd Jr. picked the phone up and called Disney and talked to the people down at the MGM in Florida and said, can we come down? We'd like to build a studio and get prepared for this new technology that's going to take over. And we did. We jumped on a plane. We flew down to Disney. We met with them for two days with the Disney Imagineers and hence, Iowa's largest film studio is right here in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Not Where, only is by the way, we're making a film a week in a week in this studio. It's, it's doubling. I know I'm sidetracking here, but hey, it's all a plug for what we're doing. Here in Cedar Falls, we're making a movie in this studio. We're using it as a television studio within the movie. Anyway, I interrupted. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. So then it, it just went on from there because uh, Rob Mudd and Chris Mudd, uh, came up with the hypercasting and brand casting concepts of this television station online. That At that point, YouTube and others were just beginning to get going, and we started rolling these things out for clients all across the United States, which really helped establish uh, the entire company's technology premise and, and prosperity, because we have 
all the direct mail, all the regular traditional advertising, marketing campaign uh, capabilities, but now we've got all the new high-tech technologies, including uh, the video on the web in this sense of hypercasting and brandcasting, and it has really just made the results for the client just, just be phenomenal results. We're going to look into the future in a second. I want to throw in a little caveat here. Um, we're an advertising agency, and we have clients all over the country, even the world. And um, we had a New York client, a pitch, and they were concerned about the fact that we're in the middle of Iowa. I keep bringing that up, but that's important to talk about. And they wondered, how can you possibly connect to New York? Well, they came, they saw, and we conquered. Uh, they were impressed, and they are a client now, and I'm very proud to say that, because we do have the capacity to be instantaneous. There's nothing we can't do. So Vance, have we flatlined, or are we going somewhere from here? Oh, I think, I think we're going somewhere from here, because you know, you know, 10 years ago, everyone talked about Silicon Valley, and now it's Kansas City you know, with the influx of Google and stuff like that, but right here in the Cedar Valley, I mean, we have, this will become the next Silicon Valley or some, whatever you want to call it. The next thing they, they call it is just because we're going to, we have the, the bandwidth and the capabilities to do what anybody else is doing, anyone in the world. So we have it right here. I did get something live here. Rob, can you say hi to Miss Kelly Houlihan's geometry class? <laughs> Hello, South Texas. Appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> well, again, that's the magic of this. Uh, very good answer, Vance. Uh, Rob, all right. I think we've been a well kept secret. I don't think we should be a well-kept secret. Do you agree with me, and what do we do? I, I agree, and I think uh, what, what we're in the midst of uh, planning for right now is, is de uh, developing a, a service tier that's uh, a standard one gigabit tier that um, anyone can just call up and subscribe to. Uh, we don't have uh, pricing for that yet, but uh, we're working on the plans to be able to deliver that one gig service. And there's uh, not very many communities in, in the nation or the world that, that can boast that uh, type of connectivity. Um, the, the other direction I see technology moving and connectivity to uh, the internet is, um, you know, we've, we've built a superhighway here. We've connected it to the superhighway. Um, so we've removed a lot of the bottlenecks um, on the network. Um, the other side is where the bottleneck is. And so we'll see over time as other communities, as other data centers uh, get higher speed capacity that will really r realize the, f the full benefit of, of these high speed links. We keep these shows very short on purpose so that people can always watch them at their leisure. You can always archive this. Uh, Jim, I'm going to have you bring it on home. Um, the question is, where do we go from here? We're bleeding edge technology right now. What's next? Holograms? Where are we going? <laughs> it, it, wherever the technology leads us, we've got the opportunity to continue to grow and expand. Disney had recommended when we built this campus and this studio that uh, we wire it for anything. And so what we have done is do that. We've wired it for anything. Well, I said we're bringing it on home, but boy, let me tell you, I got questions here now. Uh, here's a question. This fiber you're speaking of, it, of is it regular? Uh, it is, uh, we use uh, single mode fiber. Um, on campus, you guys might use multi mode fiber. Um, and uh, when we uh, have built the fiber to the prem uh, network, uh, we built about uh, 300 miles of, of fiber in town. Uh, the other question is from Kelly Houlihan, and it's uh, tell us more about the fiber. Uh, I do want to point out something that I know. There's only a couple of other communities in the United States that have what we have in Cedar Falls, Chattanooga. Tennessee and Lafayette Louisiana. Lafayette, Louisiana, a couple other forward thinking uh, cities. A any other comments about that fiber? I know that I need more in my diet, <laughs> but uh, outside of that, anything? Well, thanks for watching everyone. Again, you can archive the show. You can always reach us at askmud at mud.com. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed yourselves and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.